So the Universe 7 versus the Universe 6 tournament is officially over and it concluded with Team Beerus as the winner since Goku lost interest to the rules and same goes with Hit. Therefore he let Big Nips Herkiel to claim the victory for the final battle. Now at the end of episode 40, you see Beerus and Chopper losing their shit when they see this three footed football head and I ain't talking about Arnold nor Stewie Griffin but a new character that is surprisingly the ruler of the 12th universe. We don't know his purpose of his appearance and we won't find out till this weekend and that's where we'll see what will Dragon Ball Super will take us next. Now in this video, not only I'll be showing you guys these 5 upcoming titles, but I want to tell you my thoughts, impression and where could this new arc bring us in my opinion. So again, SPOILERS! If you don't want to know the upcoming titles because you don't want to get any ideas in your head advance, then PLEASE get the f*** out of this video and run. Just, just run as far as you can. Don't even look back. Just exit this video, turn off your phone, turn off your PC or phone, go outside and start running. Start running until your legs burst into flames and while you're running, run some- so let's start off with this weekend which is called episode 41 and so the super dragon balls or in the fan translation i suppose come forth god of dragons and grant my wish easy peasy lemon squeezy now again as we know it looks like that xenos may have something to say however we don't know what exactly he wants yet but i mean look at this beast he looks he looks he got that i'm here to fuck bitches expression no lube but it's pretty obvious why he's here and what he wants because once he demands what he needs he gets it and that is bulma's tits besides from that we see vegeta and kaba having a conversation in that preview of episode 41 furthermore you get to see kaba's expression and as he looks he looks very cheerful as if perhaps he's still taking vegeta to his home planet which is called salad it's pretty exciting because this will be the first time ever since that Bardock movie decades ago is when we saw a big population of Saiyans. Canon. Now out of their proportion we get to see the Universe 7 about to summon a new dragon with the new Dragon Ball Super, Super Dragon Ball I mean, for the first time. And I gotta say I love that new dragon design. I might consider that one as one of my favorites out of Poronga and Shenron himself. But I wonder what kind of wish the Z-Warriors will make and what exactly will be so different between wishing something with just a regular sized Dragon Ball and a Super Dragon Balls. But we'll find that out in no time. Now the next title is called Episode 42, an uproar at the victory celebration facing off at last, Goku vs. Monika. Now in this episode, it may or may not bother to progress in the main canon story or it'll just be a short standstill, you know what I mean? For instance, when the title says Victory Celebration, surely the team, Universe 7 and Z Warriors might have a celebration with their food, music, dancing, laughs, you know, the, like the Straw Hat crew does, that, exactly, that shit. When the, and then every time when either their celebration ends or get rudely interrupted, that's when the next arc begins, that kind of shit. I'm not bashing One Piece by the way, I love that anime, but I'm just stating the truth here. Okay, but not only we're gonna see them celebrating, but it looks like Goku still hasn't realized that Monika is a fraud, and I guess he'll be challenging one of Beerus' biggest pupil. Now, why hasn't anyone told Goku he's a fraud? I don't fucking know yet. But in the end, this episode will probably be nothing but just a, a comedy slapstick. The third episode of May is pretty obvious and will be nothing more but a comedy slapstick as well. And that episode is called Episode 43 Struggling to Take Care of Pan. Looks like we're gonna see some Videl and Gohan struggling to take care of that demon. Yeah, I said a demon. That demon that made Gohan into a total fuckboy. And we're never gonna see him in his badass three mystic form or stronger ever again. Why, Pan? Why? Why do you do this to us? No, but seriously, we may get to see Gohan in this episode. But I would hardly doubt if the episode would even bother to tease us 
just a little bit that maybe perhaps Gohan will be taking the throne again. So, <laughs> no. Moving on, something that sounds very interesting, and it's called Episode 44, Secret of the Unleashed Superhuman Water. Now, I don't know will this character be mentioned in these past three episodes that we're about to see, but it looks like we're gonna see a new character with the ability of water type, water manipulation, whatever. Maybe Aquaman got tired of being irrelevant as fuck in the DC universe, so he move on to the anime world. I don't know. But that's all I can say for that, to be honest. He could be in God, an ally, a big threat, etc. But I'm actually excited to see what's up with that guy. If anything, I just hope it's not a filler character, and we'll only just see him, like, what, one episode, and that's it. That would be just a waste of character, if you ask me. But yeah. Now we reach the last episode of May, and that title is called Episode 45, The Amazing Copy of Vegeta. Now my thoughts, and I'm sure it's very common, but it may sound as if Vegeta actually went along with Kaba to his Saiyan planet, and maybe, just maybe, there's a king or a prince of that Saiyan planet who may have the same exact attitude maybe the same exact hairstyle or maybe the exact powers of Vegeta himself. It could be another King Vegeta type, but I'll just say it's definitely the opposite of Vegeta's brother, Tarbo. You know, that biggest fuckboy Saiyan you, you ever seen in your entire life. By the way, is that canon? Is he canon? Because if he is canon, let me know in the comments because I don't even know to be honest. But that's all in my impressions of these upcoming episodes and the titles and arc of Dragon Ball Super. Now I believe overall we're gonna see everyone splitting up and dealing with their own shit. Gohan will still be that Gohan. I'm not sure what exactly Goku will be doing. But in fact, we still don't know what exactly have the Z Warriors wished for with the Super Dragon Ball. But if I take him out, guess he's probably just out there training as usual, avoiding the family because he's a great father. And as for Vegeta, Vegeta checking out the Universe 6 Saiyan planet, I presume. And I guarantee we'll probably know if he is going to that planet, perhaps maybe later on this week episode or the next. But that's all I have to say. Sorry I didn't want to review the episode 40 of Super like I normally do by the end of the weekend, because the episode wasn't really that good for me to talk about. So I decided just to do this but thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe. This is Gil Sensu, and I'll see you guys next time.